Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, check it in. You're watching Fitted Fiend. Cause my sweat turned out right now. Get friend looks going too turned on. Talkin' that talk, but it ain't about much. Hey, no nuts, cause the sweat turned out. This week on Fitted Fiend, we have pickups from USA Cap King, Hatland, and Ebbets Field. With no further ado, let's get into this. Also, make sure you go join our Facebook Fitted Group, also called Fitted Fiend, New Era 5950 Community. Links in the description or go to fittedfiend.com to help you find it easier. Post your fittings of the day. Buy, sell, trade. Help assist members get fit as it may not be available in the area. We're approaching 2,000 members. Once again, thank you for the love and support. They added a new feature. Um, if you're watching this video, there's a thanks button you can uh, click to donate to the channel. Um, it, you can donate a dollar, two dollars, just whatever you want. Uh, every little bit counts. Helps support the channel. All right, so the first thing we're going to get into is the pickup from Hatland. Uh, two of these three are double ups. This one would have been a couple years back. I would have got this one. I honestly don't remember if I ever featured it on the channel. All right, the reason why I got this one again, I've been having issues with Bangladesh made ones. They don't fit as well as China made ones. It's like the dome's not um, as deep on them. And plus, uh, a lot of times the, um, the overall fits just off. So the one that I had like this was the uh, Bangladesh made one. So I was assuming this is gonna be Bangladesh made. But I uh, later found out that it wasn't. So it uh, looks like the traditional Braves hat. The regular on-field colors. So Navy Dome, Red Bill, Red Button, White A, White New Era flag. As you can see, it must have been old dead stock due to the way the 5950 sticker is. Because we all know they don't make them like this anymore. So I guess they had this sitting around in their store for quite some time. Have the MLB logo on the back done in red, white, and navy. Has the Jackie Robinson 42 on the right. And like that plastic style heat pressed on fake side patch. It's got the black UV. I did get this in seven seven eights because my other version, which is Bangladesh made, is seven and three fourths and didn't really fit right. So I was ex expecting this to be uh, Bangladesh made as well, but it ended up being China made. So seven seven eights new era, authentic on field collection. And once again, it is China made. So hopefully it's not too big on me. All right, this next one is going to be the Ebbets Field Collection. This, I think, will make my second or third fitted from them. From my experience, I have to go a size up on theirs. I had some kind of sale going on when I got this. So I don't even remember how long ago I bought it. Well, I've actually been sitting on this since... Uh, I purchased it on December 13th, which is ironically my birthday from last year. So I've been sitting on this for like, what, three months now. All right, so they got the their tissue paper with their branding all over it. All right, so I got their Atlanta crackers fitted. Once again, I got it in 778s, traditional Atlanta brace colorway for those that do not know the Atlanta Crackers were the AAA affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. And when the Atlanta Braves relocated here from Milwaukee, they moved to the Richmond, Virginia, and renamed themselves the Richmond Braves. Then in 2009, they, re they moved back to Georgia and renamed themselves the Gwinnett Braves, then later renamed themselves the Gwinnett Stripers. So Navy Dome, Red Bill, Red Button. It's got like an old English style A. Nothing on the right side, nothing on the back, nothing on... The other side, green UV, kind of has a satin look to it, don't it? I don't think it, any of the ones I had in the past had that. And it's got the black sweatband. This is made in the USA. I have its fill tagging. I'm trying to see where it shows the actual size at. Okay, yeah, the size tags right here, seven, seven, eights. So happy to add that to the collection. Want to eventually get one of their Crackers jerseys. All right, last one is USA Cat King. This is a double up. Got a crazy steal on this. 
when I bought it originally, I paid full price for it. And I got some other things along with it when I got it the first time. And they had a promo code, and I guess I got sidetracked and forgot to put in the promo code. So uh, I contacted them after I paid and said I forgot to do the promo code. I was hoping they would just go ahead and discount me the $13 I would have saved, but for some reason they said they couldn't. So they gave me a special $13 off promo code. Then ironically, this hat went on sale. So when I added the promo code to it, it dropped this down to like the mid $20 range. So it was a major steal. So got the Atlanta Braves, red, white, and blue. I'm a big fan of patriotic colors. So white dome, royal blue uh, bill, red buttons. Got the tomahawk done in red, white, and blue. Very nice. New era flag done in white to blend in. The MLB Batterman logo is done red, white, and blue. It's done flat. It's got the 150th anniversary Atlanta Brace side patch on the right, done in royal blue, red, white, and like a goldish yellow color. Very nice. We'll show close-ups at the end of the video. Gray UV. I did get this in 778s because what I've learned recently, if I go a size up on Bangladesh made ones, they fit better than my traditional size. They go further down on my head better. So um, that's the route I've been going here lately to get around the inaccurate sizing of Bangladesh made fitteds. So yeah, so it, it is made in Bangladesh like the other one I got, but I figured for 20 something bucks, I couldn't pass it up. So, so that's my pickups. So we got Hatland, and in the middle we got Ebbets Field, and we got this one from USA Cat King. Comment down below, let me know which one of the three you like the best. Uh, since I already had the two on the sides, I would have to say the Atlanta Crackers is my favorite out of these three since I already own the other two. So don't forget to go join our Facebook Fitted group, also called Fittifine. Links in the description or go to fittifine.com. Don't forget to smash that thanks button to donate to the channel. Every little bit helps. Uh, stay tuned for close-ups. Please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends and limited merch in the description. Until next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, signing out. Peace. Jeans.